Hello, today we are going to be describing the Servicool cooled radiofrequency ablation technique for our patients who have cervical facet joint pain, which are quite prevalent in our practices. Those who have done a block or two, either a therapeutic and or diagnostic value, yet have not sustained long-lasting relief then the cooled radiofrequency ablation technique that we are about to describe can be an additional option for longer lasting pain benefits. So in the procedure we are doing today, we're using a cervical cool probe. This is 75 millimeters in length and two millimeter active tip. And the advantages of a cervical cool probe are the fact that our larger lesion gives us a better ability to capture our medial branches, which have high variability in the cervical spine, as well as help us with our older adults who have very ill-defined landmarks anatomically. And in this procedure that we are demonstrating today from a posterior perspective, we have additional value in the fact that we have a bony backstop that gives us further safety when we do our RF procedure. So to initiate the procedure, on AP perspective, we find C7 six, and five. Due to the fact that in this particular procedure, we are de-innervating the C5-6 and the C6-7 zygopophyseal joints, we will need to do cooled radiofrequency ablation of the medial branch of C4, five, and six. Thus, we will give ourselves approximately a 20 degree caudal tilt. This caudal tilt then demonstrates our pillar view. So here is C6, 5, and 4. I identify the waist with this small indentation of the vertebral body, would anesthetize on the edge of this particular vertebral body. After a local anesthetic, I introduce my first needle and slowly guide it down to bony contact. I repeat the procedure after local anesthetic is applied at C5. And then finally, I repeat the procedure again after local anesthetic is applied to C4. Uh, so now that I've placed the three needles at the waist of C4, 5, and 6, uh, I will go lateral to confirm placement on OS. Now that we've confirmed proper placement on lateral perspective, I will do motor testing. At this time, I would place the probe into the introducer. Make sure that it's fit snugly. I like to take another image just to confirm placement. Do motor testing at two hertz and two volts. Always making sure we do not have upper extremity motor stimulation. Without stimulation, I would then place one cc of 2% lidocaine to try to prevent post-operative discomfort. Reintroduce the probe. Again, confirm that we have not moved off OS and go ahead and start our lesion at 60 degrees for two minutes and 30 seconds. I would then repeat motor stimulation and a preoperative block of 2% lidocaine and repeat the burn at the other two needle sites. After that, that would conclude our cervical cooled RF procedure. Thank you very much.